I, F25, am traumatized by my boyfriend, M37, Insta. What should I do? I, F25, have been with my boyfriend, M37, for over a year now, known each other for two. We have a baby together. The other day I went on his Instagram to search something and all over his discover page was skinny girls and thongs and stuff. I'm talking, I could probably put my hand under this girl's ribs skinny. I'm not, I'm on the chunkier side, and of course just had a baby. I'm not really sure what this means as it was on his discover page. I would like to mention that some of those girls are young. Really young. So young that when I saw the comments on some of them, I cried because I have a little girl, and I couldn't imagine someone saying stuff to her like this. I want to put the details here on what I saw, but it makes me sick to type, if that says anything. What should I do? Any advice will help. I have no one to turn to or ask. The Discover page is based upon what accounts you follow, photos and videos you like, and who you're connected to on Instagram. This isn't just stuff that happened to pop up. This is tailored to what he's been looking for. Are these girls even legal? Start by dating someone your own age. Old guys like this like young girls, because they are more easily manipulated. If he is commenting on underage girls, run. Do not let your child around that man. What will happen when your child gets older? Some of those girls are young really young. Color me shocked. A 37-year-old knocked a 25-year-old up. And he's into young girls? Surprised Pikachu face. Not to be that person, but I hope you understand now why he a 35-year-old man approached you a 23-year-old young woman. Don't ignore these red flags and carefully consider if you missed others in the past. Don't let the fact that he's your boyfriend and father to your child blind you. Your first and foremost concern now should be your daughter and her future. My, 26F, BF, 25M, went through my phone. Hey all, I, 26F, stayed at my, 25M, BF's house for the week. When the weekend came I slept a lot, and when we were both up everything felt very uncomfortable. His attitude and demeanor towards me this past weekend was very dismissive. Despite me asking and checking in, he would say nothing was wrong. When the weekend came to an end, he gave me a goodbye kiss and dropped me off at home. Then, no calls, texts. He wouldn't answer my calls. He finally said, I saw things on your phone that broke my boundaries and that shows how much respect you really have for me. I'm not sure what he saw or thinks he saw. He never said specifically or had a conversation with me. He apparently went through my phone while I was sleeping. I'd like to say I am not, was not cheating on him and had already blocked all the men I was previously in contact with prior to us dating. Respecting his wishes. He told me that I could come get the rest of my stuff. He lives a city over and I don't drive, yet he drives to my city every day and could easily drop off my few belongings. He refuses to call me back but hasn't blocked my number or social medias. I am at a total loss. How do I get my belongings if he doesn't answer? Is there any point in trying to talk about what he interpreted, saw? Do his behaviors appear as red flags? At this point I'm not thinking the relationship will be salvaged but I am very unsure of how to move forward. Last thing, we work at the same job site. How do I approach returning to work? Any help would be appreciated. Ask him to bring your stuff to work and just keep away from him otherwise. If you need to interact with him keep it pro, like your strangers otherwise. Either he found something you've forgotten about or he's a weirdo that gets upset over the slightest comment. Either way the relationship is over. Everyone already said, either write off your stuff or have him bring it to work. Only talk to him about purely professional stuff and preferably in the presence of others. But can we talk about the audacity of this? I saw things on your phone that broke my boundaries and that show how much respect you really have for me, while I was violating your privacy and going through your phone. Move on. He feels like you cheated. So either you cheated, or you didn't, and either way this relationship should end. The stuff you left there, just keep asking for it. It's yours, and he'll give it to you. Did he really go through your phone or did he say he did attempting to get you to admit to something he only imagined you were doing? If he refuses to tell you exactly what he thinks he saw, I'd be inclined to think that he may have been thinking about breaking things off and was attempting to use this scenario to make it look like your fault. He did you a favor. Don't date insecure men. If they ask you to limit contact with people in your life end it right then and there. My, 18 male, boyfriend says that a certain feature is ugly on other girls, but is pretty on me, 18 female. He always thought this feature was ugly on girls, but once he found out I had it, 
he suddenly said he finds it pretty on me and he's not bothered by it, even though he always makes fun of or finds this feature unattractive on other girls who have the same condition. I'm not sure how to feel, but it's making me insecure and I feel like he is just saying that in order to make me feel better. Thoughts? I don't understand why he's making fun of other girls' features around you. He shouldn't feel comfortable doing that in general, but in front of his own girlfriend who has the same feature he's criticizing. I dunno, this feels neggy to me. What is it? Like a large mole or something? People who put down others to make you seem better are not good people. But you're 18 so it's just a sign of immaturity rather than of genuine malice. You should tell him point blank that you don't like him doing it. How he responds will tell you everything you need to know. If he respects you he'll apologize and try not to do it again. He might slip up but a quick correction from you should be enough. If he doesn't respect you he'll push how you're feeling to the side and continue to do it. Don't be in relationships with people who don't respect you. Okay, what's the feature? Um no. I would be jumping my BFS butt for putting down other people let alone girls who had the same feature as me. I guarantee you if you guys break up, he will talk shit about that same feature the way he does about those other women. My 27F SIL 26F derailed my wedding because of a conversation that never happened. Help. Hi. So this is going to be long sorry everyone but I am in desperate need for advice. So my SIL 26 female we will call, E, has a beautiful daughter who I adore and asked if she would like to be the flower girl. Both E and her daughter were excited. I have never had a sister, only a little bro, so I really wanted to forge a great relationship with her. I invited her to the bachelorette party included her in the hair and makeup and custom designed gold lockets for her and her daughter as honorary wedding party gifts and it would have been my niece's first real piece of jewelry and a reminder to both of them that I loved them. So just after Christmas I get a message saying her daughter will not be in the wedding because my fiancé her brother called my niece a bastard and that he was racist sexist and homophonic. I was floored. So I asked her what was going on and she told the story that he said all this on the phone to his mom and it was overheard by my mill wife who called her and said all this. So I asked my fiancé mill and her wife none of them had any clue what was going on and neither one remembers this conversation. So everyone takes a break and I get a call from mill saying everything is fine and the wedding is all good. Great. Well we sent out invites and my fiancé called his sister to tell her to keep an eye on the mail and mentioned something about the dress we got for the flower girl well. According to my sill she is not in wedding she doesn't want us to objectify her daughter and again we are racist sexist and homophobic. For the record I have a drag queen a lesbian as bridesmaids and mixed race family members so I was devastated she would call me that let alone the fact she called him that she then yelled at us for asking my mill if this conversation happened told us that she feels no reason to step up to explain anything to us. My fiancé was very mad and said a few things that were a little below the belt honestly I would have to if I wasn't crying he went to apologize and found we are blocked. I have no idea what to do I have no idea what started this how do I fix this do I? Do I go NC? Help. The wedding is a few months. Sounds like your fiancé needs to find out what is wrong with his sister. Plan out possible replacements or a way to make it work if there is a no show. How desperately do you need a flower girl? Can someone step up as a bridesmaid if needed? Plan in two directions. Sill is trying to cause chaos and won't come or be wanted versus it was a misunderstanding, misheard conversation, etc. Or someone else fed her a lie and her brother straightens it out. First of all, your wedding isn't derailed. Lack of a flower girl is a small thing. You got this. Sounds like Sill is unhinged. Does she have a habit of making things up? It sounds like your Sill is a fan of the drama and she will only be that whirlwind of bullshit at your wedding if she attends. Try to get together with everyone but her to see if you can untangle what she's talking about and if it was a misunderstanding, but you're probably going to have to ultimately find a new flower girl. Sit down and talk with your fiancé, Mill and family and see if they know what's going on. If nobody has a clue then maybe assume that something is going on with your sill that she needs some help. Let your Mill handle that and stop making this about your wedding. Maybe someone is abusing her or her daughter, maybe she's lost her job, who knows. Truthfully, it will be better if she isn't at the wedding. If she makes up drama now, what would she do at the wedding? 